New at 6 o'clock. It's a situation no parent or caregiver wants to be in, but what would you do if someone you love was missing? There's a program in Spokane County that you may have never heard of, and it can be critical in bringing home a missing child. Green and gold balloons. Hi, you want a star? And a table full of stick-on badges. There you go, you're a junior deputy today. Dan Middleboss is filling out an Operation Family ID card for each one of his kids. And while creating the kid is fun, a photo, some fingerprints. Hair, eye, birthday. The information collected on this card is used to protect hundreds of kids in Spokane County. It's important because we're helping um, with the safety of children. Chris Conway is the director of SCOPE, a team of 250 volunteers working with the Spokane County Sheriff's Office to provide free services to promote public safety. Conway says Operation Family ID is a free resource for parents to help connect them and law enforcement when kids are missing. When parents are in that very stressful, overwhelming um, time, they become missing or lost. Um, we can get the information to law enforcement as fast as we can. Leanne is a scope volunteer and says most people just haven't heard about Operation Family ID. Even she hadn't thought about filling out a card for her husband with memory issues until this event. And he does have dog tags on that I make him wear that has his name, but I don't have anything at home. Nationally this year, more than a thousand kids have been recovered because of notification systems like Amber Alerts. Washington State Patrol has more than 100 photos of missing adults and 56 missing children on its website. Alerts that could be sent out by law enforcement in an instant with ID cards like the middle boss family now has at home. Social media stuff, challenges going on, people taking risks and doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And yeah, I mean, it's not as safe as it once was for us. Threats to the safety of our kids are changing with social media. The FBI warns while criminals targeting kids online rarely meet up with their victims in real life, the FBI has interviewed victims of crimes like sextortion as young as eight. Eastern Washington Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers recently sat down with us for an interview about the dangers of online tracking of children. It's a big priority for me to protect individuals' privacy online and to give rights to individuals as well as to protect our kids. Kids, so we have the strongest protections for our kids that prohibits the targeting of kids, the tracking of kids, the collection of sensitive information on kids under the age of 17 as a way to protect our kids online. The Congresswoman says online safety concerns have bipartisan support. We need a data privacy law in the United States of America. We passed a bill out of committee last year with strong bipartisan support and we're hoping to get it even further eventually under the president's desk. Conway and her team of scope volunteers know privacy is a top priority for parents and caregivers. And that's why these ID cards are always taken home to be kept in a safe place. No information is kept here. All the information is sent home with the parent. A process that takes about 10 minutes that could make all the difference when it comes to finding someone you love. The overall view, I think, of, of a lot of communities these days is the distrust. These types of programs are what bring it back. And so I was adamant about getting my kids up here. In Spokane County, Kirsten O'Connor, 4 News Now.